Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Hot Topics Time. Today we will talk about how Chinese solved the invasion of alien species by eating. Known as the devil's flower, the notorious Canadian goldenrod in China has its natural enemy. Because of its high nutritional value, the crude protein content in its early growth stage is close to that of legumes. Chinese farmers process it into feed, and they have become a feast for sheep. Well, here's the thing. Canada goldenrod is native to the Americas and was introduced to China as an ornamental plant in the last century. However, it is highly prolific, with a single Canada goldenrod producing more than 20,000 seeds in a year. It is no exaggeration to say that the strong seed-producing ability gives the Canadian goldenrod the ability to occupy a garden, so it is called garden thug. That is, no matter how wide the wasteland is, you only need to plant one Canadian goldenrod. Before long, the whole land will be full of clusters of yellow flowers. Moreover, goldenrod has strong adaptability. According to the research of modern botany, the root of goldenrod can tolerate the low temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius, which means that goldenrod can grow normally even in autumn and winter when all flowers wither. In addition, the vitality of Canada goldenrod is also reflected in its tolerance to drought and barrenness. Not only can it bloom in the crevices of stones, but even the cement floor can't stop it from blooming. Perhaps it is precisely because of this easy-to-live feature that China introduced this species from North America for the first time in 1935 and used it as an ornamental flower. But as we all know, China was still at war during this period. The turbulent background caused many Canada goldenrod seeds to scatter in the wild and successfully germinated and bloomed. But as goldenrod fell to the ground, the native plants in China also received a heavy blow. Since the Canadian goldenrod came to China, it has caused serious damage to China's ecology. According to data, the invasion of Canada goldenrod has caused the disappearance of more than 30 native species in Shanghai. As we mentioned, Canada goldenrod has a strong life force, which may be a good thing for itself, but a disaster for other plants. First of all, the underground rhizomes of a goldenrod are very developed, and the number of rhizomes in a single plant can reach up to 15, which gives the goldenrod a strong ability to absorb water and grab water from the roots of other plants. As a result, wherever Canada goldenrod grows, other native plants quickly wither from lack of water. But it can achieve ethnic symbiosis by virtue of its strong water-taking ability. The demise of native plants has also expanded the growth space of goldenrod. With sufficient water and soil nutrients, these goldenrods can even grow to a height of 3 meters, much taller than an adult. When these tall Canada goldenrod are linked together, it is a nightmare for other plants. Even native plants with tenacious vitality are difficult to grow and develop without sunlight. What makes other plants even more desperate is that Canada goldenrod not only has strong adaptability, but also has a terrifying ability to spread its seeds. The seeds of Canada goldenrod can be carried and spread not only by people and birds, but also through the soil. Even when a gust of wind blows, its seeds can go tens of meters away with the wind. For native plants, it is a ubiquitous devil, and it can cause harm to any place when it comes with the wind. It is precisely because of this strong transmission ability that it is extremely difficult to eradicate the Canadian goldenrod in China. After all, the usual eradication work only needs to uproot the plants, but for goldenrod, it needs to be preserved, and even the staff's clothes must be specially washed after eradication. Otherwise, the seeds of it are likely to carry out a new round of propagation while being eradicated. At that time, with the arrival of spring, these yellow flowers will come back again, endlessly. Unexpectedly, just when everyone was at a loss for the Canadian goldenrod, the savior sheep appeared. Faced with the current situation of the rage of Canada goldenrod, can we turn waste into treasure and make goldenrod into fodder? Chinese sheep farmer Xiang Jizhong put this idea into practice. After getting in touch with local experts, he began to add goldenrod to sheep's feed. The results of the experiment were unexpectedly successful. Sheep not only like to eat goldenrod, but goldenrod is also very nutritious, and the crude protein content in the early growth stage is close to that of legumes. 
More importantly, using Canada Goldenrod as feed saves a lot of feed money. In addition, local farmers can earn money by cleaning Canada Goldenrod. But the most important thing is whether the feces excreted by sheep after eating Canada Goldenrod contain seeds. What if the seeds of Canada Goldenrod spread to other places through sheep? This concern is justified to some extent, because plants have already learned to use animals to disperse in the process of evolution, and even some seeds must pass through the digestive tract of animals to germinate. But sheep eating Canada Goldenrod will not have the problem of seed dispersal, why? Because the Canada Goldenrod that the sheep eat is before the seeds have formed, since the seeds have not yet formed, the sheep manure will not contain seeds. In addition, the food will stay in the sheep for a very long time. During this period, it will be decomposed by microorganisms and processed by gastric acid. It is difficult for the seeds of Canada goldenrod to escape the digestive tract of sheep. Since sheep can eat, can cows eat it? A Chinese animal husbandry company crushed a Canadian goldenrod flower and fed it to cattle and found that the cattle did not reject it and preferred to eat flowers and tender stems. Later, local farmers also discovered that rabbits also like to eat goldenrod and processing goldenrod into grass powder to feed for rabbits. In addition, feeding geese with Canada goldenrod instead of a certain proportion of concentrated feed will not only not affect the growth rate of geese, but also increase the egg production of geese. See, Canada goldenrod, which was devil grass before, now turned into a high-quality forage grass after finding the right place. In fact, China lacks high-quality forage, and it has become an obstacle for the development of China's dairy industry. If Canada goldenrod has the potential to become a high-quality forage grass, maybe future breeding scientists will improve it and make it a force for China's animal husbandry industry. Do you think so? In addition, Canada goldenrod can replace cottonseed husks as a substrate for growing mushrooms. This is not just a theory. As early as 10 years ago, edible fungus growers in Ningbo used Canada goldenrod to cultivate mushrooms and found that using it as a substrate for cultivating mushrooms, the growth and fruiting speed of mushrooms is faster than that of conventional cottonseed hull medium. In addition, the cultivated mushrooms have moderate caps, thin stalks, delicious taste, and the yield of mushrooms is basically the same as that of conventional ones. Since Canada goldenrod is less expensive, it is an ideal medium over cottonseed hulls. So, is Canada goldenrod invasive in your area? Do you have any effective solutions locally? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. We will see you in the next video.